Hi, my name is Steven. Welcome back to Content Desperate YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can create a beautiful pop up like this using the Divi theme and a simple plugin, the Divi Supreme. With this plugin, you can add pop up pretty much anywhere on your website. You can see that I have one here as well, and then I have one on the menu over here. So you can add pop up pretty much anywhere on your website. So without further ado, let's log into WordPress and I will show you how you can add this on your website as well. So as you can see that I'm logged into my WordPress dashboard right here. So the first thing we need to do is to add the DV Supreme plugin. To do that, we go to plugins, add new. And here we'll search for DV Supreme. And you can see the DV Supreme Lite. This is the plugin we need to add. We install this. And activate and now that we added the supreme module lights if you go over here under the DV supreme and go to settings you can see here that we don't have the DV pop-up yet and that's because the DV pop-up the one that we want to use right now is a pro feature so we need to get the DV supreme pro to do that I will leave the link in the description box below you can just click on it or you can simply go to your browser and type contentesp.com forward slash DV Supreme and click enter. Okay, so this is where we get the DV Supreme Pro. So let's go ahead and look at the prices. So as you can see here that we have three options. The first one is personal, which is just for one website. And the second one is professional, which is for unlimited website, but you still have to pay this every single year. So if you're just using this for a personal website, just for one website, I think this is fine. But if you're using this for client's work and you're building lots of websites for clients, I would suggest going with the agency plan. I have the agency plan myself because this is a one-time fee. You just have to pay this fee once and you can use it on unlimited website and then you get the lifetime updates. So every time they add new modules, you get their modules as well. And you get access to all the extensions and all the upcoming updates and you only have to pay this once so let's go ahead and look at the features that they have here you can see uh, once we purchase this we'll get access to 40 plus modules you can see right here we get 40 plus premium modules so if you are using the DV theme this is a must have plugin for the DV theme because you get access to all these modules right here 40 plus modules and not only all these 40 plus modules, you also get access to six different extensions. So you get access to these six extensions here, which one of them is the DV pop-up. So this DV pop-up will allow you to add pop-up pretty much anywhere on your website. You can turn any module into a pop-up. So go ahead and buy whichever one that works best for you. I already bought this, so I'm not going to buy it again. So once you completed the purchase, you can go ahead and log into your account by clicking on account. As you can see here, I'm logged into my account. So the first thing we need to do now is to download the DV Supreme Pro. So to do that, just click on download over here. Once you click on download and then you will see the download over here and then click on it and download it on your computer. And once you do that, you can go back to WordPress dashboard. And once you're inside the WordPress dashboard, click on plugins and add new. And now instead of searching for a plugin, we can click on upload plugin. So now you can choose the file that you just downloaded, click on it and choose the file and click install now. So I already installed this. So once you install it, you can go back to plugins. And over here, you can see that I already have the DV Supreme Pro installed. So what I need to do now is to activate it. So once you have that activated, it will ask you to enter the license or you can just click on this license here. You can see that I already have my license activated over here, but yours will still ask you to activate the license. To do that, you just go back to your DV account over here. So this time you click on orders and over here you see license manager, click on it and then copy your license key and then go back to WordPress dashboard and then paste it here and click activate. And once you activate that, now if you go back to DV Supreme Pro and click on this, so now you can see that we have all these six extensions, all these six extensions, you can see that we have that right here. 
So all you need to do now is to enable the DV pop-up. So enable the DV pop-up and click save. And once we have that enabled, now you need to go to DV over here and click on DV library. And here you can create a layout for your pop-up. So you can see here that I have the contact form, which was the uh, form that pops up here. You can see this is the contact form that I created that here. I assume that if you're watching this video, you already know how to use Divi. Go ahead and create uh, your layout by clicking new, and then you can give the layout a name, and then you can choose if it's a full width section or a layout. So you choose a layout and give it a name and submit and then you create your layout. Once that's done, now go to the page where you want to add the pop-up. Now as you can see here, I have the pop-up on the home page. So I'm going to click on home page here and then I'm going to enable the visual builder. Okay, so now that we have the visual builder enabled, you can see I already have the pop-up on this button right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add the pop-up somewhere else. So I'm going to add the pop-up here so all you need to do is to click on this setting icon and then go to advanced and then under visibility if you scroll down you can see use pop-up so if you enable this like this now you can choose the pop-up type so we have all these options here so if you want video to pop up you can select video but in this case we're going to select layout because we just created a layout and then if you scroll down here, you can see the DV library. So we're going to go here. So now we're going to select one of the layouts. If you go back here, you can see that I only have two layouts here. I have the contact form and then I have the sample. So I'm going to go back here. So this time I will just select the sample. I'll select this one. And then we're going to choose when you want the pop-up to trigger. You can leave it on module click or you can change it to whatever click. So I'm using a button, so I'm going to change it to button click or you can put it on scroll or page load, whichever one you want to do, just select that. So I'm going to select the button click. And then if you scroll down here, you can choose whether you want to auto close pop up. I'm going to leave that off. And then here you can add animation to your pop up because if you go back, you can see that over here, I have a slide up animation and if you close it, you have a slide down. So if we go back to this page, here you can choose what kind of animation you want to have on your pop-up. So you can see here I have they have fading. If you click on this, you can choose pretty much anything you want uh, as your animation. So let's just choose something uh, different. Let's choose zoom in. And then exit animation, let's choose zoom out. Okay. So do you want it in the center, on the side, or on the right? So uh, the one that I just showed you here, you can see this one here. That I have this one in the center. So if I go back here, let's choose something different. This one, let's, let's do a center left. And then do you want it absolute or fixed? So I'm going to leave this on absolute. And then do you want it full width? I'm going to leave that off. Show overlay. If you want to add overlay to your animation, you can choose this or you can just turn it off. And then do you want to show button close? So the button close is pretty much this icon right here to close. So do you want that outside or inside? So you can select that here. So I have this one inside. Or you can select it outside so i'm going to leave it on inside and then you can choose the icon see over here that we have the x so this is the icon here you can choose a different icon if you want and now if we scroll down here you can choose the background for the for the button and then that's pretty much it and then click on done and then click on this three dots right here and then click on save so now that we saved that, if we go back here and refresh this page, if I scroll down to the button that we were working on over here, if I click on it, you can see that I have that pop up here. 
and it's just on the side instead of in the middle okay so let's go back here and change this back to um let's change this back to the right so let's put it over here so you guys can see i will close this and save this and then if i go back here and refresh the page and then i'm going to click this button now the animation is going to come out over here on the right side you can see that we have it here now so guys that's basically and uh, how you can turn pretty much anything on your website into a pop-up you can turn pretty much any module into a pop-up using this plugin if you go back here and select this heading over here and then go to advanced go to visibility and then if you scroll down here you can see use pop-up if you select that you'll be able to turn that into a clickable pop-up and then the same thing goes with the heading you can see over here that i have a pop-up on this contact button here on my menu so you can do that as well uh, using the DV theme uh, but you need to do that in the team builder so if i go out of this place and go to wordpress dashboard and then i'll go over here and then i'll click team builder and then here you can see that i have my custom header so if i click on this pencil icon here to edit my header so as you can see here here i have my menu so over here you can see that i have the button so i'm going to change the pop-up to the sample page so if you go advanced and click on visibility you can see use pop-up here i already enabled that if i scroll down and then the pop-up library i'm going to select the sample right here and click ok and save and then close this and come back here and make sure you save all changes and if i go back here and refresh this page now if i click on this contact we are going to get this how it works we're going to get this sample instead of the contact page if we click on this one we get the contact if we scroll down again and click on this one we get this again guys you can see how easy it is to create a pop-up with this simple plugin this plugin will add extra functionality to your dv theme and it's going to make your life a lot easier with the same plugin we can do this uh we can do transparent header we can do the shrink on scroll and the different logo you can see if i scroll down here we're going to get a shrink on our menu and we're going to have the logo change to a different logo you can see here i have it changed to the yellow one and the shrinks done so if you want to see that tutorial on how you can do this with the same plugin i will leave a link to that video in the description below okay guys that's pretty much how you can add a pop-up anywhere on your website if you are using the divi theme with a simple plugin called divi supreme if you found value in this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe and don't forget to click on that notification bell so you get notified when next i upload a video thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next one